what is up youtube steam blockchain so today i want to talk a little bit about why i start to like library library is a platform called it's just like youtube uh, you kind of post content and you earn crypto so today i want to talk a little bit about why kind of library has kind of grown on me since uh well first i kind of heard about it i made a quick account it um i didn't really like how the system kind of worked for some reason because um i guess i'm very very skeptical of like <laughs> um that you can like make something actually work with like real users because we've seen so many like scam projects in this industry but it's very interesting with library because it's kind of starting to grow on me because they have a lot of these like when i started to dive deeper into it they have a lot of these features that I've been sort of wanting to see a very, very long time on like platforms like Steam, but that we never really got. Like features like analytics for video creators. I was always so annoyed with Steam blockchain, how it didn't focus more on uh, video content creators. But now we're starting to see it with with uh, with YouTube and library that um so what what i like about library here is first they have functional exchanges they have a functional token uh, you can see tips coming in on older videos you can sync all your videos from youtube so they automatically gets uh, published on library you can also sync multiple channels you can also see the people giving you tips and there are also some other things that's very interesting probably my favorite feature as a video content creator and that is that you can support your own video so you can support your own video uh with um you, you can leave a support and you can remove it at any time but it increases the authority of the video in the search rankings so it can get more views and more attention i love this feature and dtube is also going to have a similar feature as as i cannot understand it i also like how the videos like the streaming of the videos works very very fast and I think they host it on their own kind of blockchain and you can see it happening on their their kind of you can see the library transactions in the in, in their library block explorer the block explorer works amazing uh, and, and and the videos you streams very very well uh, which is uh, which is kind of kind of cool because that's usually has been a big problem in this industry like how can you make like third party streaming work pretty well and I gotta say the user experience on library is kind of growing on me to be honest so yeah so some of the key things why I like this supporting your own videos very very cool so and also how the blockchain seems to work pretty fast like you can unlock tips fairly easy now I think some errors with some tips doesn't seem to be able to unlock them for some weird reason no idea about what that is but that was only like 10 percent of the tips but uh, one of my favorite feature is this uh, creator analytics section so for example i can see i have 452 followers apparently 103 this week 85 views total six this week and I can see my most viewed recent content and I can see my most viewed content of all time. Analytics for video content creators is one of the key things that made YouTube become so big that you actually could track a lot of interesting stats. So this combined with this support function that you can get these tokens to promote your own videos so they rank higher so you get more visibility in the search engine and get higher authority. Some of the key things why uh, I kind of like this and why it sort of is kind of growing on me a lot and um, the community also seems to be pretty pretty passionate which uh, is something uh, that I also enjoy I also enjoy how it's used like DTube it's very simple user interface and the team seems like they kind of know what they're doing uh, you can follow people of course I like the user interface it uh, it's kind of nice to be honest so that is kind of what i wanted to talk a little bit about in this video so my top projects at the moment in crypto is of course dtube uh, hex and now library basically 
with these deep pass systems, <laughs> Steam and Hive, I don't really see that much of a future in them at all. Because it's like they're not really mainly focusing on video. So I think they're really going to struggle eventually when video creators become massive whales and when they are kind of leaving to their own kind of platforms that they're kind of enjoying more. Because we started to move into this phase where the consumer are kind of more in control. I even see it on my YouTube stats, like people are watching them for an average or like four minutes watch time, uh, each person clicking on a video. So that's kind of like a long time, right? Which means like video is the most dominant thing that people want to consume. And that is probably eventually where, so video plus token seems like a pretty genius move. Uh, having blockchains, the Avalon blockchain and, and the library blockchain that to fully focuses on video creators seems like a pretty genius move. We've always had this like chicken and egg problem in in uh, in uh, in crypto when it comes to video and tokens because it's like, okay, so how do we get video creators on board? Well, we kind of had to fund them in some way. And library has these very interesting reward, uh, content reward system for big uh, big YouTubers. So for example, I, I, I get uh, 6,000 LBC per month just because I'm a big YouTube content creator of videos. So they have this like better onboarding plan at the moment and they have a bunch of different ways where you can earn uh, daily LBC tokens. And you always have this like chicken and egg problem where it's like, okay, how do we get users? Well, we need video creators but how do we get the video creators on board if we don't have the users that can tip the video creators? So yeah, you always have had this chicken and egg problem, but the better technology, the, the better tech we get and the smarter people become, eventually people figure out the best way to get users and the best way to get content creators. And the best way we kind of figure out in the crypto industry is just to reward them with some token and um, have a system that 100% focuses on a niche. So DTube focuses on video only and uh, library focuses mainly, I think, on video only, which is like, it's very nice. It's, it's a very, very clear niche. It's a very, very big niche also. So it has a lot of room to grow massively and I, I kind of love that. So yeah, I mean, it... Uh, I love seeing my videos automatically being posted uh, onto, onto library. So it's like automated, right? The age of automation, uh, which is kind of cool. So I don't have to like manually go and, and do that thing. I kind of love that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I want to talk a little bit about, about today. That library is kind of growing on me. I've been following this uh, platform for a few months and uh, the more I see like, wow, they really done this feature pretty well. Maybe I should pay attention a little bit more here. Uh, yeah, so that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. Have a great day, DTube. And uh, yeah, should I say that? I mean, that uh, blockchain is kind of corrupt now. Have a, have a great day, DTube.